I showed you a lot of photos from the Ford Maverick. New wheels. This is probably a Lobo edition. I expect all the Mavericks to have the screen from the Ford Escape. So check out the interior of a Ford Escape at your local Ford dealer. Uh, I really like the Escape's touchscreen. I think we're in, in for a nice treat when it comes to that. But I did get a lot of feedback. A lot of feedback and comments on not, not liking those wheels. Don't worry, this will only be for one trim. But a lot of feedback also about people preferring the previous model. So this is the previous model of the Ford Maverick. It's gonna be a bread and butter for Ford. If they can start producing, you know, 500,000 of these per year, I think they'll sell them all and it would be a real bread and butter the way the Chevrolet Cavalier was for GM, helped save GM. The Windstar really did, uh, help, really helped Ford out in the 90s. This could really help, help solidify dollars for Ford for the future to help bear when they're going through governments that are trying to push them on electric, which is just, you know, pushing them towards being obliterated by China. But a lot of feedback about this here, people saying they weren't a fan of this new bumper style. I love the light. I'm not sure about the bumper style generally. I, just to share my bias with everyone, even when I saw the new Mustang on computer, I was like, ah, no, 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 no. Then I saw it in person and I was like, mm, maybe. And now it's been, you know, a few months and I'm like, I really like the style of the new Mustang. Things need to grow on me. And I think this will grow on me. I, I do like the fact that it gives it more of an aerodynamic look, more of a like a functional beauty. I do really like the bottom bumper being plastic, but a lot of people pointed out that that's a little silly because you sc get these scratched up. So it's better that it's just flat plastic. So the scratches kind of show less instead of the paint coming off and then being on the plastic, but I've never really had that issue. So I, for me, this is an incredible style. I love the bottom. Not all 2025 Mavericks, not all of them will necessarily have the horizontal grill and it wouldn't even surprise me if Ford is watching, you know, car, the Maverick car community and listening and get writing the feedback down. Okay. Are people liking the horse, the vertical grill or do they much prefer the horizontal, kind of like a honeycomb grill. I usually don't like change, and I can tell you at like first regard, I'm like, oh, it's it's rubbing, kind of rubbing me the wrong way, but I think with time, my brain will kind of accept it and like it, because it does kind of look like a big rigs grill, like, you know, the traditional uh, chrome bars off not 80s and 90s, 18 wheeler big rigs. Uh, I think that's cool. I think that's got a lot of potential, but don't worry. Uh, a lot of people thought that these were, you know, computer generated or photoshopped photos. And I'm here to say that is almost certainly not the case because after we saw other photos of a Maverick that was more camouflaged than this one, surprisingly, they're camouflaging the grill. So I think this might be a one-off grill that we just saw. They're camouflaging the grill. They're camouflaging a whole lot more of the vehicle. I'm sorry, they didn't camouflage the grill. So we won't be forced into a vertical grill. You might be able to get this full honeycomb grill. The bottom continues to look to pretty much be painted. The lights are a definite. And guess what? A little more functional wind lip. Definitely looking like it's going to be consistent across all the models. Do subscribe and like and hit the bell notification because I'll cover you all the details. I'll also cover you the super small details. I did mention that the other model looked like it was, uh, the blue one we just saw, looked like it was a, lar a special edition off of a Lariat. It's more of a high-end trim. Well, here we see 360 camera again. That's the camera pod. That's a little pod with a camera at the end to give you 360 camera. I think 360 cameras, so that's cameras all around, it's gonna be very common on the new Maverick, the 2025 Maverick. I don't expect the XL to have it, but I bet I wouldn't even be surprised if it's standard come XLT. Mind you, these are painted handles. So this might be another Lariat. Maybe 360 camera is just gonna be standard with a big touch screen on all Lariats, but I think the big touch screen is gonna to come to all models. Either way, we've got a model worth waiting for. Maverick Truck Club, thank you for getting us all the photos at all the right times. 
Now, in the comments, please let us know what other changes do you think will come to the Ford Maverick. I'm definitely thinking that we are getting some sort of hybrid. Ford's talked from day one at the drawing board, the Ford Maverick drawing board, as part of the initial plan to bring out a hybrid version for 2025. I won't reveal my source, but I've had a, an engineer share that with me. But plans do change, so I can't guarantee it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen soon. I am completely digging and loving these wheels. The wheels that look like they go on a <laughs> late 1990s Lamborghini if they're bigger, and you know, of course, silver. But uh, we've got a great looking vehicle there. Get a little zoom in on that grill. But uh, enough spy photo, enough spy tape was off, the anti-spy tape, to show that they're all going to curve up like this. This is going to be the design for the lights, but the grills will have different grills. And that's probably a grill that a whole lot more people can dig. They'll maybe be like a dark gray or silver version of it. This trim does look pretty, it looks like a pretty high-end trim. Now, we're going to have to switch over because very soon let's talk quickly ford ranger but in four minutes we've got tim's show at long macarthur ford so we need to switch over i actually think that uh ford ranger let's talk ford ranger next live i'm also going to be coming out with a mini episode roughly six seven minutes long i hope you can take the time to catch it i test drove the ford ranger and to just give you a real quick summary of that test drive We'll talk more about it in the next live, but real quick test, uh, real quick summary. Here I am test driving the 2.3 liter, and I found the previous model of 2.3 liter Ford Ranger engine to be 